Dad wore that wedding ring right there for 64 years. Way back when this picture was taken, he lost it once where we lived in Winterset, Iowa. I was with him when he discovered it missing from his finger, and I was with him when he found it again in a work glove a couple of weeks later. The rest of his life, he never took it off. I kept it in a box after he passed away in 2016. But a while back, I got to thinking that I should wear it to honor his 51-year marriage and family legacy. His hand was smaller than mine, and I tried it on both pinky fingers, one of which was a bit too loose, and the other a little too tight due to a broken knuckle on that finger. So I wore it on the loose one and got along just fine. That is, until last week. I was out filming that winter day as usual, calling barred owls in the morning, and then traveling to a marsh to film ducks 20 miles away. There were a few stops in between. After a fine day outside, I headed home and suddenly noticed the ring was gone. It had apparently slipped off somewhere as I worked outdoors. I looked for three days, going back to each place and trying to see the tiny ring that could so easily hide in winter cover. No luck. And I figured the ring was gone for good. But today I borrowed a metal detector and tried again at the duck marsh, having no idea if this was even where I lost it. The detector beeped again and again as I swept the ground along my earlier path, probably sensing buried wire from an old fence. And finally, just before I quit looking after half an hour, it buzzed again. I stooped down, and there was the ring hidden in the grassy tangle, a tiny glint of gold and yellow straw. I looked up at the clouds and raised a hand. You, you can think what you like, but this wasn't luck. Tonight at the edge of sleep, I'll see again that amazing joyful moment. And I'll know exactly who to thank. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.